it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be crazy. How does this feel? I'm on a red carpet, guys. That's pretty cool. That's a cool thing. <laughs> Miss Lisa Harper is here with a very special guest. Hey, uh, oh, come on! <laughs> the host for tonight's show, Tori Lowe! The things he does for a photo. I'm for the good, and this is a really good night tonight. I'm so excited! Kayla family, it's Skip and Amy, along with our friend Shama, and we are here for the ninth annual Kayla Fan Awards in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, ninth annual, so hard to believe, but we are so excited that you are here. It's yeah. gonna be an incredible night, and you are gonna get the scoop on all things Kayla. And while you all two are on the red carpet, mm -hmm. I'll be backstage and in the crowd as everyone gets ready for this exciting award show. Okay, we're gonna start talking to some of your favorite stars. It's all getting underway, so hang tight. Here we go. For the 10th annual Kayla Fan Award. Awesome. It's Skip and Amy in the red carpet with For King and Country. Good. I was blown away when I read a couple of months ago. You guys hit your 10 year anniversary. I know. I don't feel like I'm old enough to be able to say you that. Are. I say, I, I literally, oh, I you're think, plenty old. Well, thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. You're, you're so good. encouraging. Yeah, yeah. We, we got to see you guys last week. And what's really great is when you're at a for King and Country show, you're in it, man. You're going to walk out of there exhausted. There's going to be way is too much crazy going on. That's, that's excellent, okay. dude. That's excellent. Exhausted and encouraged. Exactly. Uh -huh. I like that. That's, that should be it's the not UK quite positive. Positive. It's not quite positive and encouraging. Courage. Exhausting but exhausting and encouraging. encouraging. Is that what people say after the show? Now we're getting way too much. And scene. <laughs> getting ready for the 2022 Caleb Fan Awards. Aaron, welcome. It's good to have you here. Hey, thank you for having me, man. It's awesome. This is my first one. So. Get out. Yeah, this is okay. my first one. Feelings going through your mind. How I'm are like, you? I'm making, I'm making sure I'm not in the way. That's all I'm trying to do. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I've been doing that for years, dude. It, yeah, eventually, you'll get there. You'll be yeah, fine. For sure, for sure. I'm excited, though. It's going to be awesome. I'm opening the show with Torrin, so it's going to be crazy. OK, are there any, and I've been wanting to know this. Please give us a little sneak okay. peek. Are any we'll dance moves involved? Not from me, but okay. from T for sure. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> yes! Yeah, so there's, some, there's some dance moves in there, man. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna uh -oh. be exciting. <laughs> Aaron, what I love about you is the energy in the yes. songs and what you bring. And sometimes we don't always hear that in yeah, Christian yeah. music. For sure. What does that feel like to kind of bring a new excitement into yeah. the music? Man, it feels awesome. I just feel like I, I have a purpose in this, you know what I'm saying, industry. Sometimes when you not uh, feel like you don't belong or, you know what I'm saying, you're doing something oh, a little different, if it, it gets kind of kind of tiring sometimes. But if we just try to be more like Jesus every day, man, it'll be it'll be awesome. So. Aaron, Incredible. encourage somebody. What does that look like? Yeah, I think for me, man, it's just figuring out what it means to be more like Jesus, which is actually reading the Bible. Some people don't do that anymore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. So I know sometimes if I don't start my day with Jesus, it's like it can get kind of ugly the rest of the yeah. day. Oh, yeah. So it's, you got to start with your day with Jesus, man, and just, you know what I'm saying, just try to do the best you can every day. Just was sobbing through the whole worship. And Tim Tebow, he's my man. I've enjoyed myself. I feel like I'm in heaven. I am so excited to be here. We're going to talk to some fans. We're going to talk to some artists. We're going to go backstage. We're going to go to the production truck. I think it's going to be a ton of fun. Are you ready? I'm ready. They're ready. Let's go. It's Skip and Amy on the red carpet with Jen Johnson. You so just did a mom move. Mom moves. You did such a mom move right before we started because you're picking Linton stuff off my coat. Got a little hair. A little here. something. Jen, I want you to jump inside where you feel worship is heading. Yes. I, I feel like you're always on the forefront of that. How is God speaking to you right now and where yes. is he directing you? I love this question. So we actually just finished an album on Friday. Oh, wow. So, like, yeah, pretty much yesterday. 
and it's called Simple. It's the new Bethel Music album, mm -hmm. and it's just really stripped back. You know, I love the intense moments and the fun, and the loud and the crazy, but it's a really stripped back moment where it's just really worshipful. I just think that honest is the word I would use. Transparent Perfect. and vulnerable and honest with the Lord as we just sing who God is, yes. who we are through Him, and then we just bring our actual real lives to the table. It is so good yes. to see you again. I'm so happy that you're here. Love you, TV. Skip and Amy, the red carpet is in full swing here yes. for the Kayla Fan Awards with Riley Clemens. Oh my God! Oh, I'm so Riley, yes. Yes. Oh my okay, so we're talking about for the good, and this is a really good night tonight. I'm so excited! I genuinely am so stoked. I'm always excited when I come to the Kayla Fan Awards, yeah, yeah. but tonight's gonna be special. Riley, explain to us the message behind For the Good, especially somebody that's listening right now, and I feel like yeah. what I'm going through, there's no way that good can come out of this. For the Good was written based on one of my life verses, Romans 8, 28, that says, all things work together for, for the good of yes. those who love God and are the called according to their pur His purposes. And to me, that means that in the highs, that in the lows, things are good things are always coming because God has got you. And the people that love Jesus have such hope because of that. Oh, Riley Clemens, thank you so much. You gotta I love you guys so much. Oh We're like proud parents. Oh. I love you so much. That's crazy. I'm gonna stand right here with you guys. Never know who you're gonna meet at the Kayla Fan Awards. Like here's Torn Wells. It's not Torn Wells. Fist bump? Not a fist bump. <sighs> Sorry. St. Cyr Blanca. Oh, Michael W. Smith. Oh, hey, it's you again. Oh, Good to hey see you, buddy. Man. How are you doing? Dude. Nice to see you. Thanks so much for letting me run the jib earlier. I, I seriously have always wanted to do that. Oh, no problem. It's a lot of fun. It's it's a fun camera to operate. Now, what are you looking for? You're, run, you're running this camera during the show tonight. Um, you're coffeeed up, right? Um, you, you're, you're sweeping, you're pulling, you're lifting, you're going up, down, around, tilting, painting. What what, what all are you looking for? Uh, I need to be in focus. That's, that's very important. Now, if you need me to just kind of run things for you, yeah. you know, just tap me in. Okay. I'll maybe just stand right there and go, Shama, you're up. Absolutely, it's a long show, so I'm gonna need some help. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so I went through a door, up some stairs, through another door, and then up another set of stairs, and I somehow ended up on the balcony. Um, hey, let's see what Skip and Amy are up to on the red carpet, because I'm gonna need a minute to figure out how to get back to where I was. <laughs> It's Skip and Amy on the red carpet with one of the hosts for tonight's show, Torin Wells. And you can't forget his sweet wife oh, as Ms. well. Lorna. Yep. Hello. My wife Lorna yeah. is here. Co-hosting. Yeah. The pressure, is it on your shoulders? No, it's Do you not. feel it? It's on Matthew's shoulders. Okay. It's going to be a pretty epic. We've invested a lot of time wanting to bring people something exciting and life-giving. We've all been through so much. Yes. And uh, the idea that there's something still worth celebrating in Jesus is one that we need to be reminded of. I have to ask Ms. Lorna, it's, you know, you've, you've watched this so many times. It doesn't get to the point where it's just like, eh, another award show, or is it still fun for you? I love watching all the acts, and especially my favorite artist, my husband. I thought you were going to say oh, Danny nice. Goki. Nice. See, I should have. You should have. I missed my opportunity. Congratulations, too. Thank you. I mean, you could be walking Thank away you. with a fan award. Yeah, uh, let's not get ahead of well, ourselves. And hey, look, just don't screw up in front of millions of people. Yeah, right. No, no pressure. No, no, no. Thanks, no. Skip. Do what I can. <laughs> Y'all have a great night. Thank you, man. Dude, good to see you. Great so far. Yeah. Hey guys, what are we watching? Are y'all with Torin? Are you Torin? <laughs> All dancers? Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, y'all might as well just let me. I mean, I'll join you guys. Yeah. Uh, 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 u
Uh, uh, uh. That's it. Caleb Award! <laughs> the winner, sir. That's good. So if I won a Caleb Award, this is probably where I would stand. And I would say, oh, thank you so much. It's a, it's a joy to be here. It's an honor. I think everybody's just incredibly talented. And, and I just want to thank the Lord. And, but I don't, this is, that's just, you know, when I win one, not if, when I win one, that's, I'll stand here and say all that. This will be behind me. Things go that way. I love you. I like the jacket. You're having so much fun so far. A lot of fun. And no lipstick on your teeth. I know. Last year, I went many hours with lipstick all over the teeth. It looked ridiculous. Thank you. Okay, I want to test your knowledge on song lyrics. You're pretty good okay. at this. I, yes, I love all the songs. Okay, here we go. I'll give you the lyrics, you figure okay. out what it is. Okay. Are you ready? Amy Bauman, are you ready? I'm thinking very hard right now. Here we go. Yeah. I was dead, but now I live. I was dead, but now I live. I was dead, but now I don't know. I don't know. It. <laughs> so sorry. It would be the commission from Kane. Well done. My, it's one of my favorites. I know. I know. I don't know how you're gonna face it. It's been too long. It's an honor. And things so look exciting. a little different, I'm sure, from last year to this year Absolutely. for you being here and yes. your nomination and all that. Yes. What's going through your head? I'm so grateful. I just reflect on all the, that the Lord has done in my life over the past couple of years. Yeah. And just to see where he's brought me and the doors he's opened for me. And just to be here is just such an honor. So I'm very grateful. What has been the most impactful moment over than this moment right now? Yes, with this us. is insane. Yeah, this is insane. <laughs> that you really just realize God is doing amazing things for me right now. Um, for me, it's been just seeing the testimonies that I've received from fans and people who have been impacted by my music. Yes. Seeing the way that the Lord has firsthand moved through these songs and um, used them to change lives. I think that's my favorite part. And that's why I do what I do is to spread the love of Jesus and to tell other people about him. And I think that's just been so beautiful. And you've gone through loss. Yes, a lot of absolutely. Loss in your life. Yeah. How would you encourage somebody right now that is just feeling that? Maybe they're going through loss or yeah. getting really bad news. What would you say to them? Yeah, I would just encourage them to cling to Jesus. He's the only one who can get you through hard times. Yeah. The only one that can help you um, and push you through difficult times. And so I think clinging to Jesus is where we find ourselves closer to Him. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Okay. Ready? We're gonna have some yes. fun. We're gonna oh, have yay. some fun. I'm so excited. Gonna play. Finish the lyric. Okay. Oh no. And I'm, I'm terrible at this. this. I'm horrible I'm at this. So bad. Okay, okay, okay. In the nighttime, Veggie Tale song. God is bigger than. Come on. I have absolutely no idea. Are you kidding? I'll help her. I'm I literally don't know. Go her. ahead, Amy. God is bigger. Than the boogeyman. Boogeyman, fantastic! Yay! Yeah. Gee, Amy, what does that song sound like? God is bigger than the boogeyman. That's He's right. bigger than Godzilla or the monster is on TV. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. I love that. You guys, every Sunday, I feel like in church, we're singing one of your songs. How does that make you feel to realize so many people are being impacted by what you're doing? It's amazing. It's, it's unbelievable that, you know, God's given us songs that we just thought were for our church. And so many people, like you're, like you're saying, are like being ministered to through those songs in other places yes. and on the radio yes. and carrying them and turning cars into, you know, places of worship. Talk to us the process of what it looks like hearing from God and then writing a song. I know we have probably a lot of people that are listening that are writing worship songs. What's the process that you guys go through? It's, it's different every single song. Honestly, yeah. like, I, w I would say, we'll, we'll talk Rattle for a minute. Sure. So Rattle, we started it right after the pandemic, and then we found ourselves for the first time ever singing it in, a, in like a public place, which was in our building, only cameramen streaming church to online because no, oh, nobody wow. was there. But we were just declaring like, God said, live, we're gonna live again. And like when you see a song that you just, you believe in and you take from a writing room to a place like that, and then you feel like it's a prophetic yeah. statement for the season we're in, it's it's amazing. It's really, really great. So we're, we're happy to be singing it tonight and declaring it together. Incredible, yes. how fun. Y'all are gonna rock it. You've been, it's so inspiring. I can't wait to see y'all tonight. The production truck. We found it. Can we get this? This is everything. Cables and more cables and some screens and little screens and 
We gotta, I, I, I need to talk to somebody in this truck to make sense of everything going on. There's inside, there's the cloud, then there's TBN, then there's YouTube, just all these different, I need to see how, how is this all coming together. There's so much going on in here. Hey, he looks like he knows what he's doing. You want me to look up at you or do you want to sit down? Uh, th th there's a chair over there you can park. Well, right now we're in our uh, mobile television production unit, which is basically a control room and production center on wheels. What makes this show unique is that the fans are producing the show and the winners are not being selected by a committee or a board of directors or industry insiders. The winners are being selected by the listeners. I'm very passionate about this music and about these artists and about this community. That's the reason I do it. And we live in a hurting world right now. And I think this music reaches people more now than it ever has in history, ever. And so to be, be able to take it out of these 4,400 people in this small building and send it across the world, uh, I'm so humbled to have a small part of being able to do that. That was awesome. It's so cool to see what it takes to put on the K-Love Fan Awards show. Hey, let's see what else we can get into. That's the wrong way. That's the parking lot. When you found out that the, the K-Love fans nominated you, that has to feel really, really good. It's really humbling to be a part, and, and, and I know that I've gotten so many people who've been talking about their stories that I'm just grateful to that God would even use me to be a part of that, you know? So. You go deep into the Word of God, Church. my friend. I grew up thinking if you were serious about your faith, oh boy. you had to be a funny dad. Seri yeah. And I thought, goodness, to realize you can not be so serious about yourself and have fun, yes. but dive deep into scripture, that's been kind of a, a revelation in my latter years. Wow. Yeah. And standing up here right now is a miracle. I mean, she hearing is an your absolute story. Miracle. I wasn't supposed to be a mama. She wasn't supposed to make it. It's just God's kindness. He's a good God. He Aww. is a redeemer. So yes. every morning I look up and I see her and I go, he's a redeemer. And I want to commit this evening to God. Uh, so if you just join us. Dear Lord, I just ask a special blessing before anything about the show. I ask that you would uh, bless everyone's lives that are involved in this program. I pray that they would have an amazing, fun time tonight. And that you'll use our efforts and our work to reach people, reach hurting people in this world right now. We are with Dante Bo. Come on, joyful. I have to tell you a quick story. As soon as I heard it the very first time, I ran out of the studio to find our producer because I was so excited about the upbeat sound. It just sounded so different than a lot of Thank other you. songs that sure. I had heard. Tell me the passion behind it. You know, we were in the middle of a pandemic and I felt like everyone, obviously, we weren't feeling too joyful, you know, during that time. And um, me and my producer, Ben, we wanted to just create a moment for our community, our Christian community, where we kind of uplift everyone and we make everyone feel a little better about the situation. Yeah, you know, we're still going through it, but it's like, I can choose to be joyful today, you know what I mean? Oh, so, to whom much has been given, you know, we, we give. So I feel like, you know, this is like my offering to God, you know, and I feel very, very compelled to write songs for the people. How is God speaking to you right now, Dante? Honestly, I feel like every year is different, but this year I think I'm growing into just spiritual maturity, you know what I mean? That's a little deep, but... Oh, I love it! But I think like, you know, when things don't go my way or whatever, I'm learning how to just understand and be more content. You are the personification of joy, my friend. Oh, thank you, sir. And it is a pleasure to have you with pleasure us. Pleasure to meet you. Man. Such a pleasure. Yes. Hello, I'm here with Brooke. How are you doing? My name is Shama. Shama, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. You start singing. We all, you know, we all kind of just sing in the shower, at home, whenever, growing up. How does that feel from when you started to where you are now. I love the art and the message uh, of, of a song. And so for me, I just was writing songs 
um, but there was no one else to sing them, so I just started singing them and no one told me to stop. And now it's 25 years later. I just think, you know, you do what God's placed in your hand um, and you keep your heart soft toward Him and keep stay in His purpose and then He gets to do whatever He wants with your life and He gets the glory. One year ago this week, the Fan Awards, what were you doing a year ago? Oh my goodness, I don't even remember. I was uh, kind of in a place where I was like working and you know, I had like a job at a church and so I don't have that job anymore. No. Yeah. 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 Hello. And for so many people, you're a very fresh new face to them. What message are you hoping this song, God of Possible, I mean, what are you hoping that people hear from you? I'm hoping that people take away that God is the God of Possible and yeah. that He can do anything. That, you know, we should not be putting on a, a limit on what our God can do. Who's the one person you are most excited to see tonight? Oh my goodness, well, <laughs> Cece Winans. I know, oh, I know. Legendary. I love yes. Cece. Okay. So I'm definitely excited. Katie. I mean, it's going to be a big night and a big night for you too. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. You guys are wonderful. I am so geeked. I am girming. Oh. Any person who's been in Nashville knows the term girming. You're my girm oh. this year. Oh, I love that. I'm honored. Oh my gosh. Can you define that for me? Uh, it's like you're kind of like a dorky Uber fan. Like fangirling. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of like fangirling, yeah. but for a chubby guy. Feel to be on the red carpet, Kayla Fan Awards. What's going through your mind right now? I'm just really thankful. I'm honored. You know, I I have wanted to do something that impacted people for God since I was a little girl. I just feel very honored and very grateful. And I'm glad to be out of sweatpants and leggings. <laughs> yeah, because I have two kids under five, and so yes. um, this is wonderful. Tasha Layton, congratulations! Thank you so yes. much. This is a huge night for you. Thank you. I think I saw for King and Country descend in this metal rack. I heard through the grapevine that you made, you played the tuba for the VeggieTales theme song. I heard you did a remix. I did. We know each other. I do. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get this opportunity, but I am surrounded by so many talented artists who I grew up listening to and watching, and they're not here. But do you think they'll let me sit here during the show? This is like the best seat in the house. It's pretty good. And Skip and Amy, we are here in the red carpet for the 2022 Kayla Fan Awards in Nashville with Mac Powell. Hey. Hey, wow. Hey, I'm excited. I'm yeah. here with Skip and Amy. Yeah. I yeah. Listen, listen, I listen to you guys every single morning. What? I, wow. Well, every Back. Monday through Friday, yeah, not yeah, the yeah, weekends. Yeah, you take the weekends off. I take my little girl to school yeah. every day, every day that I'm home. Yes. Yeah. I take her to school and we listen to you guys every morning. She always wants me to call you guys. Yeah. Every morning, she, especially in those times with the yeah. bad yes. dad jokes. She has more bad dad jokes than I do. Oh. Birdie Claire, shout out to Birdie Claire. Uh, so she always wants me to call and tell you guys, yeah. but I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm embarrassed to do it. So. No, it's all anytime. Day. The, the phone lines are wide open. Okay, great. Mac, you are legendary in this industry, and you've done a lot of red carpets all through the years. What makes the Kayla Fan Awards different? Well, there's a lot of things that make it different. What I love, for me, living in Atlanta, I don't see a lot, you know, most of these people are from Nashville. Right. Yeah. And so I get to see a lot of people that I usually never get to see. It's It really is like a family reunion. I get to see people that I look up to, that I listen to wow. every day. And I get to see guys that you guys play on the radio. Uh, it's so much fun. I'm a fan myself. Yes. I really am. I'm not just saying that. I'm a big fan myself. Well, I, one of my favorite uh, Mac Powell stories is we were doing the cruise a few years ago, and you're backstage, and you're kind of pacing back and forth, and we're getting ready to go on, and you looked at me and said, I don't remember any of the words to any of my songs. People ask me all the time, do you ever forget the words to your song? And I tell them when they ask, every single night. Every <laughs> night, there's at least one song that I forget the words to. But you know what? It's uh, it's memorable for everybody else, I guess. Yeah. Well done. Oh. What can we expect next from you? Like, how do you feel God is speaking to you right now? It's been so cool to watch God reveal Himself in this season because 
man, he's been giving me some really incredible things, mm. like message-wise. Yeah. And I really want to write songs that hit like all the people that are listening in on Caleb and everybody who's listening on Christian radio, but also for the people that are searching and hurting and needing encouragement and needing Jesus, you know? And what would be the message that you would want them to hear if they're searching and hurting right now? That somebody loves you. Somebody loves you for who you are. They love you for your mistakes. He loves you is all he wants is a relationship with you. Um, and it will literally change your life. We, you know we're fans, we're huge fans, yes, but before we sit down, I have to ask you one question. Has he ever had one of those outfits where he walked out and you just go, oh no, 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 oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here, hello. Hi. How are you doing? Well, I'd be doing a lot better if you gave me that jacket. I saw you in the production truck. Camera one, fade, camera two, pan up. Yeah, a lot of that, I heard a lot of that. Pan right, pan is this way, tilt is this way. So. Yeah, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How's it been going so far? It's been going great, but I, I was walking through and I heard you say you're surrounded by what a lot of talented I'm, people. I'm surrounded by a bunch of talented people right now. Oh, you mean these people? Yeah, yeah, I do. I'm not supposed to be you. No, they, they, they wouldn't let me around the real talent, oh, okay. so this is okay. as close. Back to work. But if you don't want that jacket, I'll take yeah. it. I think I can pull it off. It's a rental. Skip and aim in a red carpet with Matthew West and family. Matthew! Yay. Yes, introduce your girls, please. I got my daughters with me. Hi. Well, you can tell them your name. I'm Lulu. And? I'm Delaney. We want secrets about your dad. So what's one thing that you really love about your dad that nobody probably would realize? Uh-oh. He's funny in public, but he's also funny in private, too. Oh. His jokes are pretty good. I want to say y'all look great and uh, not a black turtleneck in the bunch. No black turtlenecks <laughs> Wow. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. We aren't going to give it away, but I can tell you, Matthew's prepared a couple of things that I, that I think are hysterical. Oh, thank Some you. of your best, dude. Oh, we're going to have a great time tonight. And, Fantastic. Uh, man, thanks to Kayla for making this happen and TBN. We're going to have a great time. It's been so wonderful talking with Matthew West. Thank, thank you. you. Now we're going to go check in with Shama. Shama, you'll find him. Hey, this is Mac Powell. You can tell him this. Um. I'm just kidding, freak. I don't. Let's go. What can I hop on the comp? Who do you think is gonna win Song of the Year? Yeah! Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Where are you from? I'm from Waynesboro, Tennessee. Waynesboro, Tennessee! Anybody else from Waynesboro? Oh, it's Chris Tomlin! Oh, hello. How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, I'm back. I had to shake Chris's hand. Okay, I understand. I want to shake his hand too. Can we get him over here? I'm here with Tommy and Eddie from the Skit Guys. I've been watching you guys for the past 12 years. We'll take it. We'll take it. That is yeah. wonderful. It's a compliment. Yeah. yeah. How does it feel to be here, have a film here? There's so many people here. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, but it's super exciting. I want to introduce you to the coolest corner here at the K-Love Fan Awards, the red carpet. Here they are. Found the real Torrin Wells. What's up, bro? How you, How doing, you doing, brother? Good, good, to, good, see good you. to see you. Yes, sir. Oh, man, I saw your, ba your, your dancers backstage, yeah. and they taught me they, they taught me they, Really? Yeah. You got it. So I'm going to be on stage. I love it. You're man, don't yes, break sir. a leg, but kill it out there. OK. Man, what a fun time! We saw some fans, we met some fans, we even saw a couple of artists. Let's go back to the red carpet! Wow, oh, wow. <laughs> what an incredible night, and it was so much fun to catch up with all of the artists on the red carpet. I had a blast, and I think the guys from the production truck are gonna let me hang out with them during the show. Oh, fun. Hey. But the best seat in the house is right here at the Opry House. Hang tight, the awards are getting underway in just a moment.